द यूनिवर्स इज रिटर्न इन द लैंग्वेज ऑफ मैथमेटिक्स देर इज जोमेट्री इन द हमिंग ऑफ द स्ट्रिंग्स एंड देर इज म्यूजिक इन द स्पेसिंग ऑफ द स्पेयर्स ग्रीटिंग्स टू ऑल फ्रॉम मिसेस वंदना शर्मा फ्रॉम सेंट जोसेफ कॉन्वेंट सेकेंडरी स्कूल पठानकोट डियर स्टूडेंट्स विदाउट मैथ्स देर इज नथिंग यू कैन डू इट इज द मोस्ट ब्यूटिफुल एंड द मोस्ट पावरफुल क्रिएशन ऑफ द ह्यूमन स्पिरिट चिल्ड्रन आर द फ्यूचर ऑफ द वर्ल्ड एंड मैथमेटिक्स इज द की टू ओपन द डोर्स ऑफ डेवलपमेंट एंड बेटरमेंट एंड अ स्कूल अंडरस्टैंड इट वेरी वेल keeping the society in mind our teachers take the responsibility for its betterment through the art of teaching a school has been building a grand castle for love of mathematics on which the devil fear is prohibited to enter keeping maths fun and creative here are our students presenting their talents by combining their knowledge of the subject and their artistic skills to what we call the future of mathematics now over to sanya mathematics is not about numbers equations combinations or theorems it is about understanding Maths is the only place where truth and beauty can be seen. Mathematics exhibition provides opportunities for the students to go beyond the class of learning of mathematical concepts and principles. Exhibition offers a platform for the students to experience the true practical value of mathematics and its potential application in daily life. The only way to learn mathematics is to do it. So, here are my friends with their maths projects. Hi everyone, this is Inya, and today I exhibit my project on Pythagoras theorem. The theorem states that in a right triangle, the hypotenuse square is equal to the sum of the square of the other two sides. Let us prove this with the help of an activity in which we have a right triangle of base six centimeter, perpendicular eight centimeter, and hypotenuse ten centimeter. The salmonia in the hypotenuse side, when put in the other two sides, fills the boxes completely. This proves that the hypotenuse square is equal to the sum of the square of the other two sides. Now let us perform. we can see the salmonia in the hypotenuse side is evenly distributed in the other two sides which proves that hypotenuse square is equal to the sum of the square of the other two sides now let us prove this theoretically by taking the same measurements on paper we can find the hypotenuse by pythagoras theorem when base and perpendicular are given so here perpendicular is equal to 8 cm base is equal to 6 cm and hypotenuse is missing So by applying Pythagoras theorem, that is x square is equal to b square plus p square, the hypotenuse turns out to be 10 cm. The same we have taken in our project. By using Pythagoras theorem, the measurement of the third side can also be calculated, but the measurement of the first two sides must be given. So in the case two, we have perpendicular 8 cm, hypotenuse 10 cm, and the base is missing. So by rearranging the Pythagoras theorem, base square it becomes the difference between hypotenuse square and perpendicular square. So the base turns out to be six centimeter. The same we took in the we can find perpendicular when base and hypotenuse are given. So by rearranging the formula, perpendicular square becomes the difference between hypotenuse square and base square, and perpendicular turns out to be eight centimeter. The same we took in the project. So this proves that hypotenuse square is equal to the sum of the square of the other two sides. Thank you. Greetings, everyone. I, Kashika Mahajan, of Class 10, is here with an interesting maths project. This maths project is a creative project 
which will help you to learn cubes easily. Most of us are aware of the square, so many don't know the cubes. I am here and I will tell you how to learn them easily. Cube of 1 is always equal to 1, but what about others? So, here are some of them. Cube of 1 is equal to 1. The cube of 2 is equal to 8. Cube of 3 is equal to 27. Cube of 4 is equal to 64. Cube of 5 is equal to 125. Cube of 6 is equal to 216. Cube of 7 is equal to 343. Cube of 8 is equal to 512. Cube of 9 is equal to 729. And cube of 10 is equal to 1000. I hope you liked my project. Thank you. Good morning, this is Karthike Mahajan here with an interesting math project named Fun with Circles. You might have learnt about circles in your previous classes. But let's recapitulate. A circle is all points on a given plane that are equidistant from the center. Now let's have a look at my project. Now let us see, we have given a circle with center O. An arc PQ subtends an angle POQ with the center. We also see that arc PQ also subtends an angle at the circumference of the circle that is angle PSR. We have to prove that angle subtended by arc PQ at the center that is angle POQ is double the angle subtended at the circumference that is PSR. We will gently remove the pin at the center and will measure the angle subtended by arc PQ at the center. That's exactly equal to 82 degrees. Simply remove the pin at point F and will measure the angle subtended by arc PQ at point S. That's exactly equal to 41 degrees that is half of angle subtended at the center that is 82 degrees. Hope you liked my project. Thank you and have a nice day. Hello everyone. Today I Parika of class 10th B St. Joseph's Convent School Patan Coach am here to showcase my maths project in this virtual exhibition. Before showing you my project or telling you how it is created, I just want to tell you that what it is about. It's basically a project to find the different angles of the different trigonometric ratios. Here it is. I have created it by cutting two cardboards in circular shapes, one larger than the other and the other one is a bit smaller than this one. I have attached it with the help of a screw and written all the trigonometric ratios over here and the angles over the circumference. Now for 30 degree I have sin 30 degree 1 upon 2, cos 30 degree root 3 upon 2, tan 30 degree 1 upon root 3, cot 30 degree root 3, secant 30 degree 2 upon root 3, cosecant 30 degree 2. Now for 45 degree, I have sin 45 degree 1 upon root 2, cos 45 degree 1 upon root 2, tan 45 degree 1, cot 45 degree 1, secant 45 degree root 2, cosecant 45 degree root 2. Now for the 60 degree, sin 60 degree root 3 upon 2, cos 60 degree 1 upon 2, tan 60 degree root 3. Hello everyone, today I am here to show you my model to find out correct Pythagorean triplets. So here it goes, I have made a model in such a way that it shows a right angle triangle which has a right angle right here. Now I can change the values of its base by rotating the wheel from the left like this or from the right like this and change it. It's perpendicular also by adjusting the weight from the back. Now, 
it works in such a way that when I rotate the wheel and stop this at any random number, I'll arrive to a correct Pythagorean triplet. So let's check. For example, I rotate the wheel and stop it at any random number. Let's check whether it forms a correct Pythagorean triplet or not. Now here it shows 6 and here it shows 8 and on the hypotenuse we have 10. We know that 8 square plus 6 square equals to 10 square. In this way we get a correct Pythagorean triplet in which the sum of values of squares of two numbers is equal to the square of third number. Now the reason behind is, is that I have made a right angle triangle here. So in a right angle triangle, the new square is always equal to base square plus perpendicular square. So in whatever way I arrange the values, I'll arrive to a correct uh, Pythagorean triplet. Thanks for watching. Hi everyone, this is Lakshita and today I exhibit my project on topic triangles. Triangle is the smallest polygon possible. So, ABC is a triangle. Angle ABC is of 60 degree and angle ACB is also 60 degree. So, using angle sum property, I can calculate angle BAC is also 60 degree. Now, BCE is a straight line. And angle A, C, B is 60 degree. So angle A, C, E is 120 degree so because of it is a linear pair. Now A, D is a median which bisects the side B, C which is of 20 cm. Now let's verify it. The measure of B, D is 10 cm and D, C is also 10 cm. So median bisects the side on which it falls. We can also say that a, B, C is an equilateral triangle as each angle is 60 degree and the measure of each side is 20 centimeters. Now, we can prove triangle A, D, B and triangle A, D, C congruent by side angle side congruency rule. They can even be proved similar by angle angle similarity rule. There is another property which is external angle is equal to sum of interior opposite angles and this theorem is proved as 120 degrees equal to 60 plus 60 degrees. Now let us consider triangle PQR right angled at Q. So PR which is the hypotenuse is the longest side because the side opposite to largest angle is the longest. Using Pythagoras theorem I can find the value of QR. And this side is 25 cm and this side is 20 cm. So this comes out to be 225 whose cube root is 15 cm. Using scale, I verified that it is 15 cm. Now, QM is the altitude which falls on side PR. Now, let's see whether it is an altitude. It is at its, as it forms an angle of 90 degree. Now, triangle PQM and triangle RQM can be proved similar by angle-angle similarity rule. There is another theorem which says all congruent triangles are similar but all similar triangles are not congruent. As we can see, these two triangles can be proved congruent as well as similar. But these two triangles can be proved only similar and not congruent. So this theorem is verified. Thank you. I hope so. All are keeping well during this time of pandemic. Today, I am here with my project on clinometer. What is a clinometer? A clinometer is an instrument which is used to find out the angle of elevation. What is angle of elevation? Angle of elevation is an angle formed by the line of sight with the horizontal when it is above the horizontal line. In this project, this is the clinometer. It has a straw to find out the line of sight the protector giving out series of angles, the thread pointing out the angle of elevation. We have a building over here. Building is that object of which we are going to find out the height. The first step to find out the height is to find out the distance between the clinometer and the building. 
when we are going to find out the distance between the clinometer and the building, the distance comes out to be 30 centimeters. The second step is to find out the height of the clinometer. When we are going to find out the height of clinometer, the height comes out to be 20 centimeters. The third step is to find out the angle of elevation. The angle of elevation for the building is 70 degrees. Now, we are going to apply the formula. The formula for this is tan x equals to perpendicular upon base. Tan x which is tan 70 degree is equal to 2.74. Now, perpendicular is what we have to find out and base is equal to 30 cm. When we are going to solve this, the answer comes out to be 11 cm. Now, we have obtained the height of this much building. To obtain the height of this much building, which is equal to the height of the clinometer, that is 20 cm, we need to add both the units. So, 11 cm plus 20 cm gives the answer 31 cm. Mathematics is the most beautiful and most powerful creation of the human spirit. Mathematics as an expression of the human mind reflects the active will, the contemplative reason and the desire for aesthetic perfection. Its basic elements are logic and intuition, analysis and construction, generality and individuality. Our school has always taught us to be fearless about maths. We, as students, are unknown to anything such as phobia of mathematics. This exhibition provided a chance for students to showcase their knowledge of mathematics and mix their artistic talent to create extraordinary projects. It has become possible only with the help of our teachers and principal that students did so well. Thank you.